Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix the animation of the zombie that you can get from the Unity Asset Store. Now, the one in question I'm on about is one I use in a couple of my series, and it is this one from the Asset Store. And I use this one because it's well made, it's easy to use, and it's it's a great asset. And uh, recently, it was updated which changed a couple of things and some people are struggling to actually use the animation correctly in the same way that I've done in some videos. So this video is to rectify the problem. Now, I had come up with an idea to uh, fix it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, however, recently uh, it was brought to my attention that uh, someone who follows my videos, uh, Vlad Kranja, Kranja, I hope I pronounced that right, uh, has come up with an even better solution than the one I originally had. Uh, so the solution to this essentially is just basically changing the rig. Now that's how the animation works in something like this and it's fairly easy to do. So I have the new version of the asset right here and all we're going to do is if we go into model FBX and click on the zombie itself, over here in the inspector panel we need to click on rig and then we need to click on animation type and change to generic and then click on apply. So what this will do is basically help the animation type kind of understand animation, help understand what's going on and what it's actually trying to animate here rather than get itself confused. Now it can be animated in the way it is because by default, uh, if you press play in this scene, the zombie would act out all of its animations one after the other. So to get this uh, working properly, I'm going to go to the zombie now and remove the animator and uh, add in the animation because we want to control it. And if we go to the animations folder, don't worry about these animations here. You could theoretically delete these if you wanted to. So I'm going to delete those animations. And we need to keep the controller file there. So let's start off with the idle one. So like we've done in the videos, we take the idle animation out of here. So firstly, if we click on the actual idle animation FBX, we need to go on rig again over here, click on generic, and then click on create from this model and then click on apply. So what that will do is once again, make the animation realize what's going on. It makes it think a bit more kinda. So then we can hold control, press D to duplicate that animation, take it out. And remember, we need to go to debug, click legacy, head back, click normal. Wrap mode is gonna be loop because it's idle. And then we can attach that to our zombie. So drag and drop over here. And then play automatically is ticked. So now when we press play, the zombie will play that animation. He will stay idle. Now in the videos that I uh, do, we, you know, we control the animations a little bit. So I'm just going to make a quick jerry rig now. So as when we click on a button, for example, it will animate a different animation. But the same principle will apply. For example, when we get into the trigger zone in the um, survival horror one, it, it works the same way. So as long as you do this method to all of the animations, it will work correctly. So we've done it to the FBX, and so now let's do it to the let's do it to the attack animation. So if we go on the attack animation here, remember rig, change to generic, and change to create from this model, and click on apply, and then. Hold control, press D on the animation there to extract it. Change to debug, legacy, back, normal. And I'm actually going to wrap this one to loop. So it's it, I don't think it's going to be looping the other videos, but I'm just doing this to show you that this is how we can fix the animations to work. So I'm going to create a quick C sharp script now. Let's call it zombie anim. And what this will be doing is essentially just a quick little script. So we have a button on screen that we then press and it will change the animation. Like I said, this whole short tutorial is just showing you how you can bring these animations back to life and get them working with the new version. If you have the old version of uh, this asset, then don't worry at all because the, <laughs> the actual tutorials themselves will be relevant to you because I think it was early April 2018 that there was an update. So, you know, again, of course, I, re I use this uh, asset just because I like it. I think it's a great asset to use. And as we can see, Visual Studio is taking a while to load up here. 
There we go. So uh, if we get rid of these and do a quick variable here. So public, if I spell it right, game object the zombie. Um, public void change anim. And we'll have the zombie.get component animation dot play and it's attack. So now we need to make sure that the animation goes onto the zombie. So let's set that size to two. Let's drag and drop attack onto there. So that animation will work properly. And game object UI button. Let's have that button in the center of the screen. There's going to be nothing to this button, really. Uh, I'm going to attach that script to my uh, main camera. And then let's set that script working. Zombie anim and change anim. So hopefully by default, there we go, idle. Click the button. Oh, I've not actually signed the variable schoolboy error. So there we go, zombie onto there. Press play again. And there we go. There's his attack animation. So all you would need to do is that same process for these four animation files, extract them, and there you go. That's how you can fix the zombie to behave in the same way as he does in the tutorials that I have. So guys, I hope that works. I'll link this video on all the tutorials I do using this particular model. And anything going forward using this particular model in any future tutorials I do will be done in this process. So guys, I hope that helps and thank you very much for watching.